everyone, it's Zafir and I'm back with another video for you guys. Today I brought some coffee with me, so let's let's have a little taste of that. Mm, nope, uh-uh, not good. So what can I use this coffee for? Well, let's try painting something with it. Ooh, ooh, oh. So I started off by painting just a rectangle on my piece of paper because I figured that was a good start. I saw a video on YouTube once and I do not remember who made it, but it's a really lovely artist and she makes these drawings where she lays down a base of coffee and then she draws on top with watercolors, I think maybe, uh, and it looks really good. So I wanted to do this. I've actually done it before, but I wanted to do it again. So here we go. And there was a really annoying fly that kept flying all up in my business while I was doing this. And I got so, so angry. Do, do you guys want to hear some exciting news? I finally got my microphone arm. It's kind of crappy. Um, because it, it was really cheap. But I'm just so happy it's here finally. So I don't have to store my microphone on my table. So now we're on to the part of the video where I draw something on top of the coffee base <laughs> that I made. So I took out my colored ballpoint pens and I started to sketch something. A lot of you guys were commenting on my last video saying that you found it kind of annoying that I was putting down my own art so much. And I'm sorry about that, I'll try to not do it so much. But the thing is that if you find something that you don't like about your art and you know what it is, it's a good thing to to say that you don't like it because then you can change it. Or maybe just say it to yourself, you don't have to tell the entirety of your subscribers like I did. So sorry about that guys. But the thing that I was trying to get at was that I didn't really love the way that this one turned out. A lot of you are probably gonna look at it and go, that looks really nice and it it does. I tried, kind of forced myself to think, okay, this looks good actually, because I love the techniques I used, but it the sketch didn't really turn out the way that I wanted it to. I had this great picture in my head, you know, when you're like, oh, I'm gonna draw this thing and then you try to draw it and it turns out not at all <laughs> like you imagined it. That was kind of what happened here. But in the end, I was like, I, I, I kind of do like how it, this turned out. It's not what I wanted it to, but it's kind of cool in its, in its own way. Another note about my last video. I asked you guys to come with suggestions of what you wanted me to do on this channel. And I'm so grateful. A lot of you wrote me and told me some ideas or what you wanted to see. And I have written them all down on a piece of paper. So I'm probably going to do most of them because I thought they were just all really great ideas. Um, but you will probably see some videos that weren't suggested because I have a lot of ideas myself too. <laughs> Suddenly after asking for ideas, I came up with a lot of them myself. Silly me. But thank you so much for all the input for ideas of videos to do. That's really nice. Okay, sidetrack, sorry. So let's get back to the painting. And uh, now I'm using watercolors to fill in some of the areas. And when I do these coffee paintings, I like to leave the coffee shining through as the skin because it kind of has a skin, kind of skin tone color, you know. Um, so I think that's kind of neat. And I like the way that there are blobs of coffee. It makes it more interesting to look at. Yeah. And I was really being... Um, uh, I, I wasn't really being very neat with my watercolors. They are kind of messy. And I think maybe something in the coffee made them act weird. Because whenever I would put down a color, it would turn really light in the middle and very dark on the outside. I know that this is something that watercolor does, but it was really, really weird in this one. And if I went to lay down a color on top of a dried one, it would just take away color instead of add new color. It was kind of weird. I did that for the cheeks at some point because I wanted to add some blushies. And then it just turned into to lighter patches with darkness around them. So that was kind of weird. Either that's the 
the coffee just not corroborating or <laughs> it's the fact that I used the wrong side of the paper because this watercolor paper that I have has these really weird lines or grooves kind of on the front side so I always turn it around so I can use the back side because that's smooth for some reason. And I was trying to add in shading with watercolors once uh, the first layers were dry and it just it it kind of worked in the hair actually but everywhere else it just turned out really weird. I tried to use the coffee to shade the skin but it turned into a weird color that I did not like so uh, I ended up mixing a brown with the watercolors to shade in her her facial features instead so yeah I think that's that, that was a good idea did you notice by the way that the music isn't just the same boring repetitive thing that it has been for the entirety of um, my channel I'm, I made something new I just got so excited that I got my microphone arm finally so I just um, busted out the ukulele and I played something so here's a little little bit of the words fail um, here's a little new something for you and I'm kind of thinking that I want to do more different uh, music tracks for my videos so <laughs> that may happen and it may not happen I was also thinking about maybe doing a cover on my second channel so if you guys want that please uh, let me know and give me suggestions for songs I could cover and um, if you see my head in the bottom of the screen all the time it's because I'm s stupid and I can't see anything so I has, has I has no I have to lean down to the paper in order to 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 see what I'm doing so so sorry about that I'm sitting here doing all kinds of weird hand gestures if you've ever seen a, a video of me speaking of, of my face of my body you'll know that I do gesture a lot when I talk and for some reason I do it when I'm sitting here talking to the microphone as if you could see what I'm doing but obviously you can so stop I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on my hands now so now I am using a brush pen to line this and I'm using a brown one I think it's a Sakura something no, it's a Pigma brush. Okay, <laughs> never mind then. Uh, and it's kind of hard to use because it's kind of chunky. It has one of those sponge tips, not the bristle hair chips. T -ch -t mm. Words are not my friend at all. I don't know what happens. Uh, but I was using that to line and it's kind of hard to control because you can't really get super fine lines. Uh, but I think it turned out pretty cool anyway. And I like that you can see the ballpoint pen shining through uh, underneath the line art. So that's a kind of neat effect. And I love the watercolor effect. Ah, oh, it's so awesome. Blah, 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 blah. But now I am about finished with my drawing. In a sec Would you move your head, please? Think. No? Okay. I wasn't done. I've... Wait, wait a second. I'm just adding some blushies with the ballpoint pen because. Yeah, you know what I said before, it kind of messed it up. And now I'm finished with the drawing. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all later.